guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermit Craft server. Starting it off a little bit differently today, with a little bit of a time lapse there. So, we got the floor in this room all done. I really like it. I love this floor. Uh, and there's nowhere here where you can actually fall into it, but it's just a very detailed and and very intricate floor design, and I like it a lot. Um, now, I do want to incorporate into the floor uh, kind of a platform that goes up here, and then a platform that leads up to the end portal as well. So I don't know if I want to do like a staircase per se, but I definitely want to do something here. Uh, also, at the end of the time lapse, if you were really if you were really paying attention, you may have noticed that I. Uh, I accidentally jumped up into the end portal and had to run back and, and run from my bed to finish off the last couple blocks of this floor. But anyway, so yeah, in today's episode, if you haven't figured it out, we're going to be working on the end portal room again. So yeah. Um, okay, let me grab a few things because there's going to be, I, I think the first thing I want to tackle now that we have the floor and the walls done, I think the first thing I want to tackle is the end portal itself. So Let's grab some iron blocks and some quartz. Where did I put my quartz pillars? Ugh. I know I had some. I know I didn't use them all. There they are. Okay. So we'll start with that. And I think right here is where I'm going to put that. And then we'll cap it like that so we'll have i do want to cover up all of the obsidian uh or at least as best we can because let's be honest it's not a great looking block obsidian is kind of an ugly block and we want to cover that up as best we can so we're going to do something along those lines and then i think we'll use andesite to cover up the other parts uh and that way it also kind of fits the the theme of the rest of the build, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see. So we'll bring that down there. Uh, actually, we don't even need to, like, jump up. We can just reach it from here. There we go. So, polished, 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 unpolished. Like so. And that looks pretty good, I think. Now, we need to do something with this little floor part as well. Uh, and the and the part up above, uh, otherwise that's going to also look really bad. So I think what we'll do, I'm kind of tempted to use logs, but I don't know. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's try a couple things. Let's try a couple things out. So we do know that we need a floor here of some sort. Has to, we, we need a floor <laughs> um, when you kind of come out of the portal. So let's first just try spruce logs like that and then maybe we would do we would end up doing a staircase leading up like so and we could this we could work with and make it look better i don't think i like that though so instead let's try perhaps a staircase that's actually in here. Let's try that instead. Uh, okay, so we would do something like this. And then I suppose we could actually lower these down, right? So instead of having them at this level, we'd still have our pillars there, right? See what I mean? These would still be part of the pillar. I think that's a little better. I don't hate it. Um, I do want that to go all the way down like so. And we would do the same on that side. There we go. I think I could live with that. Now, for the upper part, we could do the same thing, just in reverse, right? Get our spruce stairs up at the top. 
like so. And that pretty much covers up the, the obsidian, or at least as best as we can. Uh, you can only cover it up so much, obviously, because the, the portal is within the block. But I think that would be doable, and then we could potentially raise these spruce logs right here up one. And maybe cap them off with a dark oak slab on top. Like that. And that'll kind of emphasize the depth uh, in the stair, right? You can, you, it creates a little bit of depth there. I think that is pretty good. So we have our portal here. And it fits within the color scheme and the block palette of the rest of the room. So, yeah, I'm good with it. Okay, now, next thing. We need this portal to be covered up. Uh, and I want to fill in the underside of it so I can't accidentally jump into the dang thing. So let's bring some spruce down like so. Uh, and do I have a torch? I do. Let's just toss a torch right there. Just to make sure nothing spawns underneath our portal. Okay. So we've got that. Now, I think what I need, I think I need some spruce slabs. Uh, there we go. Let's just grab a few of those. And actually, let's grab some dark oak slabs too while we're at it. We might need them. And I think what we're going to do is create something like this around the edge of the portal. And then what we'll do is just bring this down essentially half a block at a time. Uh, so, And we'll do it in a relatively slow increment. So let's see. Ooh, one little problem with that idea, though. It's kind of hard to get underneath it. Uh, that's not right. That goes there. There we go. Although I guess it doesn't really matter that much because... Most of this would probably end up covered up anyway. Uh, now, is this a full block height? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So, we can go there to... And... Like so, right? So you come down the stairs, and then you can run up and into the end portal itself, which I like. I think that's good. We'll bring that out a little bit. We'll bring that out a little bit. And I think that's pretty good. I do want a little bit more interest in this, though, because right now it's kind of dull and boring. So... Hmm... Spruce? Maybe dark oak. What we could do here is kind of bring up some pylons at specific intervals like that. Uh, so we'd have one here and here as well. And I think that looks good. Now, where those pylons would be, attention to detail, very important. Take out these little bits right there so they look like they're going all the way down into the ground. I don't want to look like they're sitting on top of stuff. There we go. You can hear Scar's cats just going, just meowing away. Just going like crazy. That's how it normally goes. Alright, so that's good. That gives us a nice walkway to go up and into the portal. And then maybe here... Maybe here we add... a couple of pylons in the corner, and maybe even here. How's that look? Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think maybe if the sides matched, 
Like, I'm not opposed to the dark oak. I just don't think... I think it needs to line up properly if we're going to do that. I like the pylons leading up along the walkway or the posts or whatever you want to call them. But I think if we're going to do those on the back side over here... I think the problem is that it, it makes it too square, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think that's that bad, actually. Maybe we do something like that to give it some shape in the back. And kind of do something similar here. Add a little pylon or a little stair there. Add a stair there. Just kind of play around with stairs a little bit and, and give it some... Some interesting shape. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I think that's good. That's good, actually. I like it. Okay. So, yeah. That's not bad at all. Um, let's not... Let's not mess with that. Let's just leave that the way it was. Okay. So we've got our platform that goes into the portal itself. We've got our platform that comes down from the nether portal. Now, the fun part. We have to tackle... The ceiling, and this is going to be the this is the part of this that I'm dreading. To be entirely honest, I am absolutely terrified of <laughs> doing this ceiling. As silly as that sounds, um, because a very grand room like this also needs a very grand ceiling. Like that's going to be very important in order to make the room look good. But at the same time, I'm not amazing at underground ceilings, which is ironic considering, you know, the Dwarven base. Um, but I think we can probably make something work. Do I have any Ender Pearls? There we go. I need those. And actually, I do want this stuff again, because I think what I'm going to do is I want to Ender Pearl up there real quick. And I think I want to extend the pillars all up one one block, essentially. And what that'll do is give us a little bit of symmetry um, with the, the bottom and the top. So we do something like that, right? And then, you know, we can put some spruce up there or, or something. But it'll just kind of balance this out a little bit better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That was a good idea. Okay. So, now, roof. Um, and I have no idea what I want to do for this roof either. What I may be best off doing, I know I'm going to need space, and quite a lot of it, Maybe what I would be best off doing is just clearing out that space up there. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Uh, let's just start... Let's just start right here. And we'll just go up until we get to the ceiling. We'll go up basically three above. Let me make sure I have some torches. And we're just going to kind of clear this out a little bit. And every now and again, I'll drop a little poke hole and see where we're at edgewise. Because I want to make sure that I do this where I want it. Let's see. So right here, basically, is the limit of how, how far I want to go. And then essentially what I'm going to end up doing here is I'll clear out this whole thing because that'll be easy, right? Just just like this, piece of cake, no problem. And then I should only have one layer to get rid of, at least for the most part, uh, to clear out the rest of the space we need. So that's going to take me a little while. Let me get that done and I'll come back to you.
All right, guys, I am back, and I've got a pretty decent space uh, cleared out up here above. I cleared, what would this be, three, four blocks above the uh, the top level. Now I put down some spruce slabs as well. And now it's time to come up with a ceiling design. And I've been thinking about this for, like, hours <laughs> trying to decide what I want to do for a ceiling here. And I think I finally have an idea. So, um, it, well, I shouldn't say that. I finally have an idea that I, I like. <laughs> I've had lots of ideas. Most of them have been bad. Uh, so we're going to grab some quartz pillars here and we're going to grab, uh, what are we using for these logs? Um, let's go dark oak logs, I think. I hope we'll have enough. Oh, yeah, we'll have enough. Okay, so let's grab those. And what I think what we're going to do is come up here, and where these pillars kind of meet up, we're going to basically extend these across, like so. And can't quite reach that one yet. But we'll basically extend those across there, and then where these pillars are, right, where we see these, uh, uh, where underneath the andesite pillars, like right here, what we'll do is right there, we'll take a dark oak and extend that across as well, or we'll fall. That's always cool, too. Get back up there. <laughs> So we'll take this pillar and bring this one across like so. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us some basically depth, kind of, sort of. Like, um, I mean, and, well, and I should also say we're going to have like this layered ceiling where there's multiple things going on here. But we'll have pillars at this height and then pillars up at this height as well. And what this should do is kind of emphasize uh, this whole thing. And then we can incorporate a design above it and basically just keep building on what's already there. Kind of like we did in the dw Dwarven base. Why am I so terrible at Ender Pearls? <laughs> that was horrible. Um, let's try that one more time. So uh, kind of like we did in the Dwarven base. Now, I need to find, let's see. So this right here would be a log, like so. And as I said, this is just gonna kind of come across like this. We may end up moving the nether portal here a little bit, um, just so it's centered. We may like shift it one block this way or something. I don't really, I don't know, we might not have to. Um, We'll have to see, but we'll play around with it, and if we need to move it, we'll move it. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But ultimately, we want to get these logs in place like so, and we want our quartz pillars down here all in place too. So that's going to take me a while to get all these where I want them to be. And then we have, of course, a lot more to do with the ceiling too, because we can't have all this ugly stone and granite and diorite and stuff like that peeking through. So uh, let me get to work, guys. I'll come back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and we've got all the beams in place where we want them. Now I want to add a design to the ceiling. And I think this is what in the world was that? That was not where I clicked. Um, <laughs> there we go. And I think this is going to be the cool part of uh, actually, you know what I should probably do? I should probably take some of these spruce slabs and just cover the top of the end portal real quick, like so. And that way we don't have things falling into it. Uh, okay, so, oh, oh no, I'm stuck in a wall. Whew, that was close. Um, <laughs> anyway, I wanna add a design above the thingy here. So uh, we're gonna do that and I'm gonna start like right here and we're just gonna get rid of those. And then I need, uh, let's see, let's just kind of mark this out. 
So right there is the center. And we're going to need, let's see, uh, a decent amount of space because I want to make essentially a symbol here. Um, let me kind of get the the circle in place and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got this in place, right? We've got basically a big circle here. This uh, this stone that you're seeing, that's just a barrier. That's just a border. That's not going to be there permanently. So what I want to do is I'd like to put like a yin yang symbol up here. I think that would actually be really cool. <laughs> and I think it would kind of fit the theme a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of that vibe uh, with the sugar cane and the wood and the, and the pillars and stuff. So I don't know. I think it would be pretty cool. So that is going to be the plan. I've got it all kind of uh, planned out. I drew it up in just like a like MS Paint basically. Uh, so each pixel where it has to go. The whole thing is I believe 13 by 13 including the border. Uh, so it should all fit and it should be pretty good. Uh, but it's going to be one of those things that's going to be a little bit time consuming. So why don't we time lapse it? All right, guys, I am back. So we've got this all taken care of. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good, I think. Um, so now we've got our symbol in place. We drew this little uh, kind of border around it with the stairs to make it kind of stick out a little bit, have a little bit of depth and shadow in there, which I think is really good. And I want to draw another border with stairs around it. Uh, but this time we're going to go the opposite direction and we're going to use dark oak stairs. So let's get up here. There we go. And we're basically just going to do this. And what this is going to help do right here is, oh, come on now, <laughs> do the thing. Um, there we go. We want at the very top of the block. There we go. So we're going to turn it like that. And then right here, we're going to turn it again. And if we look down here, what this is going to do is just kind of break up this little chunk right here where uh, it would be where the, the pillars kind of intersect because this doesn't look all that great. We want to break that up. Uh, if we can kind of create a, an additional – I'm stuck on the wall again uh, – kind of create an additional border around it if that makes sense. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work on that. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I'm still not entirely happy with that. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe it would be better instead if we brought that down a little bit, like, like this. Right, and we'd have this kind of sticking out, but it would basically cover up the pillars there. Like, oh, that one's not right. Like this. And then we can kind of do, come on. Oh, I can't reach that, can I? Uh, but something maybe like that would be better. Just kind of looking at it. I might have a little bit better luck with that. Let's just see. Create that depth going around. I kind of like that. 
Hmm. Let me play around with it a little bit, guys. Let me see what I can uh, do here, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think what we've got there is pretty good. Uh, so it's basically a layer of upside down stairs, and then on top of that, a layer of normal facing stairs or something. And I think it works. I think it works out pretty well. So now the next step is to do the main ceiling, and I think I've got a plan for this as well. So let's get rid of all these bone blocks, all the quartz. Uh, shouldn't really need the stone anymore. I am going to need a lot, like a lot, a lot of spruce stairs. There we go. And maybe we can, we'll experiment with using some dark oak stairs too. Um, but here's basically the plan, right? So. Up here, I've made these spruce, uh, or these stone, uh, we'll basically just call them guide blocks. And what we're going to do is put down like this rows of stairs up against this guide block. And what this is basically going to do is create some interesting, like, layers in our ceiling and depth. If we look at that from down here, we've got something kind of like this going on, and I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, I do think it would look cooler, though, with a little bit of dark oak up in there. So instead, let's take this row out, and then this will also, uh, this will also help us make sure that we have enough spruce to actually get through this project, because we're a little bit short right now. But we'll get these kind of middle ones out, I think. And we'll put a dark oak stair like that and like that. And then we'll turn it until we get to here. Turn it again like so. There. Do the same thing here. And then that will basically be one ceiling section and we can put some torches up here just to keep everything lit up but if we look at that from down here let's grab up all the spruce that we dropped it's gonna look like this and i think that looks really cool actually i think that's pretty fantastic uh and we can do that basically all the way across and create these sections like that we'll probably have to do something a little bit different with the end port with the portal here uh, but we can worry about that in a little bit. So let me finish getting all these sections in place, and I'll come back to you. All right, guys. I am back, and check this out. I actually love... <laughs> I love this room. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, sometimes I surprise myself, and this is... <laughs> This is pretty cool. Um, so, the ceiling is all done. Uh, for the nether portal, I decided to just keep it real simple and take those spruce blocks that were up here, replace them with andesite so it matches this frame. And, I mean, all in all, I think it's good. Like, I, I, I'm perfectly satisfied with this. I think this is a, a very cool end portal room design. It's definitely a little bit different. Uh, and I don't know. I just really like it. I think it's really good. Um, now above it's all lit up. So nothing should spawn up there. We shouldn't have all sorts of crazy monster noises going on. Should be safe. Uh, we got the stuff removed from over the end portal so you can actually get in here. I mean, all in all, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm actually super super amazed with this build. Like, this is one of the better things I've built in quite a while. So, <laughs> at least in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, though, because, guys, I am out of time for this episode. So, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to, like, subscribe and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.